All right, what is up you guys? Today we are talking about road trips and Tesla and how possible it is to do it. Why you need zero fear and why you should just go and do it. Coming up right now. I am literally in the middle of nowhere right now and it's pretty sketched. There's a car parked over here. Some other cars come in here. Cars are driving by ever so often, but it's beautiful out here, but there's no charging. There's no chargers up here. How can I possibly be up here in an electric vehicle like the Tesla? Really what I did beforehand was I charged up to about 80 to 90%. I always do that when I go on further drives that I know there aren't any charging stations nearby. Plus you gotta take into effect elevation. You know, when you're traveling uphill, downhill, all that stuff, you actually gain miles going downhill because of the regenerative braking. There's just so many things to discuss, but really the first one I wanna talk about is range anxiety. You should really just punch it right in the face because range anxiety is nice if you don't have pre-planned trips. And what I mean by that is you have a navigation system built into the Tesla that is to really push you to use it to go places because if I'm traveling 100 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, 10,000 miles or whatever the case may be, Tesla routes out the charging stations for me and it adapts to the charging stations needed. I've done three road trips in this car and each and every time it has rerouted me different routes because it's either faster or here's a charger closer so you could drive even longer to the next stop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tesla is here to help. so. Other cars might do this, but I haven't driven other cars. I've only driven the Tesla Model Y long range. Well, it's a performance model, but I've driven it longer ranges, right? So first thing I do is I input my navigation system of my desired location. So if I'm driving from Las Vegas to California or to Arizona or to Washington State, Florida, New York, wherever, it's going to literally route out where I need to go where I need to stop at, how long I need to stop for, and when I can continue my trip to go to the next one. And that's the most efficient things that this can possibly have. Now the question is, like, let's just put this out there because everyone's gonna say this. I could just bring my gas-filled car and drive and not worry about that and get there even faster. For sure, but all, guess what you could also do faster? Get on a plane, right? So the whole point, I guess, of this video is to share how fun the experience can be when it comes down to driving this car. Because also, it's much cheaper to drive it too. Let's just say that. It cost me maybe $120 to go from Washington State to Nevada. And no BS, it's usually 10 to $20. Plus, if you're driving at nighttime, the premium of the charging goes actually way down to almost maybe even 15 cents uh, per kilowatt hour compared to during the day in California, Nevada could be 34 cents, right? Then we charge from home or a charging station that may be free, then it's zero dollars. So take range anxiety out of the picture. Take convenience of gas powered out of the picture. The whole point of driving a Tesla, an electric vehicle in 2023 and so forth is for the experience. Really, if you're trying to pinch pennies, don't buy a Tesla. A Tesla, even though there's no maintenance, it's gonna cost you money. Your monthly, your insurance, your charging stations, your time that you spend waiting, whatever. But let's actually segment into the next part. You gotta wait for charging. You gotta wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, five minutes randomly sometimes, who knows? But what people don't really factor in when it comes down to these waiting periods is you can literally do everything you need to do at that charging station. Most Tesla superchargers are located near a gas station, hotel, restaurant, bathroom service, whatever, middle of nowhere like how I am now, but there's no Tesla stop here, it's just a stop. But think about this. When I was on my road trip from Washington State to Nevada and from Washington State to California and back, I was traveling with two dogs, my girlfriend, now fiance, thanks everybody, I don't have a ring yet, and my baby, which at the time was like three months, four months old, I think. At these stops, no one wants to drive straight for 12 hours unless you're in like a hurry. But when I'm driving and we stop after an hour and a half, two and a half hours, three hours, because even though this only gets 300 miles of range, maybe 200 something, no one's actually driving for that long and comfortable, right? You want to stretch out, you want to stop, you want to go to the bathroom, you got to eat, you got to change the diaper, you got to take your dogs out. All that stuff can be done at a supercharging station. So when you're waiting for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, you don't gotta worry about anything because guess what? 
you're taking care of everything else. You're making the dogs go pee. You're taking them on a walk. You're stretching your legs. You're getting a bite to eat. You're changing the baby's diaper. You're letting the baby roam around or do something. You're able to relax and just kind of get a feel of the area that you're at. You know, that's one of the best benefits of when it comes down to supercharging. Now, of course, that's for the, I guess, your road trip where you expect to wait, right? But let's say you're going from your house to Home Depot or Home Goods or Taco Bell and you have 10 miles left and you have to go to a supercharging station to charge for maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes just because you have to, whatever. Get your installation in your home. They come with the regular like 110 volt and 220 volts that are very easy to use in your house, not that expensive to have. I charge mine off the regular volt, the regular where I plug my phone in. I put it in that outlet, I keep it in my garage and I always keep it above a specific amount and if I know I'm gonna travel in the next few days, I just kinda keep it plugged in throughout the night and whatever, yeah, it takes 20 hours plus a charge because it only gets like four to five miles per hour. But if you know you're gonna go somewhere, like I know tomorrow I might drive across Las Vegas and back and that can take somewhere from 50 to 80 miles I'm gonna keep my charge on because I know I could get 50 miles within eight hours or so. You just don't gotta worry about stuff. You, all you gotta do is this. Get in the car and just drive. Enjoy the fact that we have went from horses and carriages to the first automobile to having that for 100 plus years and then finally getting to something brand spanking new that the market hasn't seen yet. And what better way to get into it than with Tesla? I think Tesla's way ahead of any other company right now. There's so much technology and it's advanced so much. I think by 2026, most companies will have it down right. I really hope so because electric vehicles are, you know, it's not even about this whole thing with, you know, being efficient and whatever else that's good for the world. And it's just fun to drive. Like how cool is it to drive and have it be completely smooth and quiet? How awesome is it that you don't have to go in, a lot of the uh, mechanics are gonna hate me, but how awesome is it to not get an oil change? How awesome is it to not worry about your radiator fluid not being right or there's a leak? Cause there's 3000 plus parts in a vehicle. I think Teslas are built for people who don't really like, you know, that aspect of cars like me. My brother, he knows everything. You can bring him a car, he'll kind of know what everything is, he can name it. Here, battery, structure, and some windshield wiper fluid, and hey, maybe even a computer, and we're solid. Bro, I don't gotta worry about nothing. All I gotta do is get in the car, charge it, drive, maybe change the tires out, because this is a performance model, so I kind of dig through these tires. I'm in like a gravel parking lot, I kind of sped through here a little bit earlier. I'm probably flat, who knows what's going on, right? but I get to experience the car and driving. I don't gotta worry about all the maintenance and stuff besides the basic maintenance that comes with it, but I don't know guys. I really just want you to know that it is very possible to do these, these long trips. If you're doing a, a 200 mile trip to 1000 mile trip to 3000 mile trip, it's possible. It's built into the car. It will tell you where to go. Just trust the process. Plus another tip here too, don't drive 95, 100 miles an hour, your range will go down low. Everyone's like, oh, there's not a true range to this car and blah, blah, blah. And yes, there is, but you just, you know, drove really fast, like how you normally could if you're in a Mustang and you go quick. And anyways, I hope this video brought value. I just really wanted to have a conversation with you guys. For those of you who haven't bought a Tesla or driven one, or those of you who just bought one and you wanna know like how possible is it to do this drive in a Tesla electric vehicle, I'm in the mountains right now. You guys seen it. I have no fear of being out here with, you know, a couple, like 170 miles I think I got left. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the drive. Enjoy the ride. Like, enjoy this experience with the electric vehicle that you can now do. Like, who would have thought you could drive a giant RC car? You know what I mean? Like, this is dope. Like, this is what you want to do when you were a kid when you couldn't afford, like, the Hummers that came out at Walmart and you could drive as a kid. This is your Hummer, dog. This is your hundred, except it's not a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. It's like, you know, way more than that. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. 
hit like, subscribe, comment down below. What questions do you have about the Tesla that I can make on next? Uh, I have a bunch of videos coming out. I have my 14,500 mile review video. I got a Tesla camping hole setup that I'm gonna be showing you guys. I might do it at the same location because this spot is dope. If you guys are new here, like, subscribe, comment. If you guys wanna stick around a little bit, you know, ask them questions and look forward to the next videos. Uh, I wanna do at least once a week. So let's keep it simple. I hope I can answer any sort of questions you guys had. If you guys have more, of course, you know what to do. I already said it three times. Leave it in the comments down below. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Thank you.